morning, a 7th District Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger joined local leaders in Madison and Greene counties today. Both counties celebrated receiving funds for community requested projects. Bria Stith shares how the money will be used in our top story at 5. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger is underlying the importance of federal money along the 29 corridor, including big dollars for both Madison and Greene counties. So we were able to work together to make sure that uh, we put forth a, a package and application through the appropriations process that secured, uh, you know, uh, the funding to make this project a reality. Madison County received $450,000. The sheriff's office will use this money to buy a new bi-directional amplifier system. And in fact, last year, Sheriff Weaver brought this project to us, recognizing that having security in schools, having the ability for first responders to be able to communicate directly with uh, school uh, administrators uh, and, and educators uh, in the event of an emergency of any type uh, is a major priority for the county. Spamberger says as a parent of an elementary, middle and high schooler, she understands the need of a secure school environment for children. And so I recognize that, you know, the, the feeling that a parent has when we send our kids off to school, that they're safe, uh, that if there's ever any sort of emergency that first responders are able to respond, uh, that is a priority. Greene County received $820,000. Its sheriff's office will purchase a new virtual reality training system. The funds will also be used to improve the community park. I spent time out at the park in Greene County uh, with the, the park director where he talked about the need for security improvements, for access improvements, uh, talking about how the park really is a central piece of uh, the Greene County community. Spamberger also visited Culpeper County where they received over $630,000. I'm Bria Stith, 29 News.